Good morning, good evening, good afternoon, whatever it is to you, my fellow Kryptonians. I hope all is well for you today in the land of crypto. Okay, so I just have a gut feeling. I'll get into some analysis and some technical stuff here in a second. I keep my stuff real simple. Um, you will find if you watch other videos, it should be in confluence with Fibonacci and, and all the other technical stuff you see. Since my last video, my account, the account I showed where I was in a long and a short, I'm up six and a half percent trading, but let's, let's get out of that. Uh, a lot of people watching are just on the spot market. Um, this is the daily chart of Bitcoin. First of all, I want to start out with what I don't like about this is the volume down here is so low that if something happened and selling came in, it could, it could drop like a rock. Look, look at how low that volume is. I put in a blue volume average line to make it easier to look at. I mean, look, look, look at that. It just, I mean, this whole year, 2024 last couple months of 2023 there's just there's just nothing there i mean there is something there what's happening is people are mainly just buying and no one's really selling and we're coming to this event different clocks around i've seen it's about about three weeks two to three weeks or so the halving will occur and i, I can't see anyone in their right mind selling bitcoin after this having event happens you know, I'm trying. I'm trying to think of how a sell-off could happen. My main, my main thing is just this volume is so low, so just be careful of that. Keep an eye on that. But uh, what I want to make this video about is I think we might be launching from right here where we're at now. Let's zoom in where we're at right now. So Bitcoin pumped up and established established this range from from about seventy four thousand top. Down here to the bottom, it's about 61,000. Let's just call it 61,000 to 74,000. And I thought maybe that would be a range where we kind of just did this for a while and my magnet's on. Turn my magnet off. And, 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 and then we launched. But it, it's looking to me, just, just gut. And, and I'll back this up here in a second with some other stuff. But just my gut feeling is I think this new range we've established here. Let's go down to the one hour so you can see more detail. Okay, so there, there's where we came up and hit 74,000 and then came back down to about 61,000. It's like 60,800. We pumped up, had a little consolidation here. This is kind of similar to where I think we're at in the, in the macro scale. See this consolidation here where it does that? It gives people time to buy and the market to kind of relax and then boom, up out of it. So I feel, folks, I feel like you know, I don't, I don't want you to go out and place, you know, some super huge leverage trade based on what I'm about to tell you. But I think this right here is the launching pad. I don't know how much longer it's going to go to the right. But the range is about 71,800. Let's just say 72,000. The bottom right here is 68,500. I'll show you my trade I made at the end and I'll say something about trading. But if you're new, you shouldn't be trading if you don't have some experience right now. Um, what I would recommend is, is that you just buy on the spot market, right? And uh, I think we're launching from here, this range here. I think this could be it folks. I, th I think it could just kind of do this for a while. I wouldn't expect it to go below like 68,000. And if it gets up here to like 72, 73, this is the daily chart. If it starts closing candles up here above, say 72,000 or so, it could be 73. But when it gets up here high, if it closes daily candles and closes like a weekly candle up here, that's probably when it's about to go poink. And we're talking about the parabolic push. And I don't want to get people too frenzied up but what I've noticed is that about $30,000 roughly are these pumps. And we've had four of them in this era of Bitcoin. 
and so say this bottom is at like 61,000 that would be about 91,000 right if if you if you took your measure and you know if, if 30,000 from here is 90,000 and that fits pretty good and you know i i don't like looking to the right too far but say, say it did do that say there was a $30,000 pump up here to thir to 90,000 now it wouldn't go straight up there right you know it takes some time and whatnot but so say it did come up here to 90,000 watch for the big correction right and, and i was talking about this before these thirty thousand dollar pumps look pretty tasty uh, and you know it doesn't have to be thirty thousand dollar pump but i'm just talking that's basically in these parabolic situations is what's happening it's like it's like 30 to thirty three thousand. so i'm expecting hundred thousand to be maybe some kind of resistance i wouldn't expect we just blow right through a hundred thousand immediately so you know watch for the correction and this this is total speculation right and watch for the correction to come back down you know maybe maybe come down and test test that test this area right where we're at here now the, the old the all-time high and, and then you know that would be the low seventy thousands, and then watch for the next thirty thousand dollar one you know maybe it comes up one hundred and four thousand, and then fails right that's just speculation i didn't even want to talk about in this but i want to make an unedited video i didn't mean to talk about this stuff i just wanted to talk about right now where we're at i think this is the launching pad and there could be a correction coming further. You know, it could come back down. So don't get too carried away. It could come back down. Uh, 67,000 would be an area to watch for it to bounce. And then see what I'm doing right now is I'm going over to the left and I'm looking at where these candle bodies and these wicks have, have stopped for support and uh, resistance and whatnot. And there's kind of another area here at about 66,000. And then, uh, of course, the bottom of this range is at about sixty-one thousand. And there's a few, there's a few more up in, in here. You know, as we go, like sixty-four thousand seven hundred. I could see, see something stopping there. If it, but, but I just, I just have this feeling, folks, that this, this is the range. This, this is the trampoline range. This is seventy, seventy-two thousand to to sixty-nine thousand. Uh, it's actually about sixty-eight thousand four hundred. This range here, right? Let's just let's put a line. Let's put some lines in there. Out there and then uh, there those two blue lines in that range i think that's the launching pad i think that's the launching pad however long it takes i think that's it could be wrong but i, I think that's it and my gut is almost always right it's not always right though <laughs> and uh what else i want to say oh now let's let me back that up a little something let's go to uh Let's go to the let's go let's go to the monthly chart where I first started making videos like a week and a half, two weeks ago, whatever it was. My first notice is we came up and tested the previous all time high and failed. Let's go here. This is where I got into Bitcoin, right here. That's where I first started paying attention to Bitcoin. Oops. Now this is the monthly chart. So there was a consolidation in here, it lasted about a month. But these are monthly candles. And this candle right here closed at, and this is relevant because this is the previous all time high from back here to the left, this chart doesn't show, at about 20,000. This monthly candle closed, let's see, this is the week. There's the close, 19,721. And I do believe, that was slightly above the all-time high previous all-time high which indicated you can see the next four months right <laughs> straight up in the air now there's huge corrections. this is a monthly chart chart now there's huge corrections like 40 percent in here multiple ones so you can see these big long wicks on these monthly candles those were huge devastating corrections to people leverage longing huge huge like 10 billion dollar long squeezes just right these these gave me post-traumatic stress disorder right which I, I didn't really realize i suffered from until here recently when i heard a guy talking about it <laughs> uh and it's it's right i and, and uh, you know we ha we're having these 20 percent corrections now and i'm sitting here going where's the rest of it right and but but those days could be over for now 
I wouldn't be surprised if we went up if we went up to super high, you know, one hundred thirty thousand in the next four or five months. I wouldn't be surprised if there is a forty percent correction coming at that point. But that's something to talk about then, not now. Okay, so what am I talking about? Let's get rid of these these top two blinds here are where I believe the launching pad is to the next the next parabolic push. Get rid of those. So okay. This monthly candle here just closed, folks. Look at 71,387. This is Femex, so the numbers might be a little different from site to site. But it's just slightly above the previous all-time high, right? The previous all-time back here, you know, was was in 2017. was like right here, right? 20,000, a little under 20,000, right? Looks something like this. Blah, blah, blah. And look at that, folks. Whoops, not that. Don't look at that. <laughs> Don't look at this little dot I have here for some weird reason. There it is. So here's an interesting fact. This is probably something you might not see anywhere else. Maybe you will. I don't know. But my gut tells me, right, the range that we're in, where I just got done telling you what my, just my straight gut feels me after watching this for, for so many years now. Look at this. I want to show you this. Let's zoom, we'll go back here to a similar situation. Now, it's a bad idea to compare cycles to each other, but in this, this case here, I think it's not a bad idea. Let's measure. Let's measure the correction the following month. As soon as that next monthly candle opened, look at that. About a 11%, 11% correction immediately. Let's see the wick on the December candle here. 11% correction. I'm not sure if it happened immediately or not. I, I think it's, I think it did. I think it's very similar. Uh, well, I suppose I could go back and look, but let's stay here for now. Um, on the daily chart, or these so far, you know, it's a uh, real, real super similar. We'll, we'll look at the daily here in a second. I don't want to make this video too long, but uh, just out of kicks, right? The, the March monthly just closed above the all time high. And let's measure this. This is the first time I measured this. I could just, just eyeball on it, and my gut was telling me. Let's let's see what this is from the close to the to the correction so far. Is three point six percent. So maybe it comes down a little further. Let's let's just out of kicks. Let's say let's measure eleven percent from the close of the March monthly candle. Would be sixty. 63,600. Um, I don't really recall any support at that level, but that's just for something to look at, right? I, I wouldn't, I would, so in that case, I, I wouldn't expect this candle, monthly candle, to come down below like 64,000, 65,000. Anyways, I thought that was interesting. And let's, let's go look at the daily. Let's see when that correction happened back then. Let's see, let me back here. I guess I got an arrow on it, don't I? <laughs> um, let's see, where was the end of the month? End of November. Was here. Look at it. Yep. See, it was immediate. See that? It's very similar. Very similar to what, what just happened. This is the daily chart, right? The daily chart. Here's where the monthly candle closed at November 30th at the blue line. And right there, boom. And one day. And one day that correction was went down. Get my magnet off. Went down uh, one day, eight percent, eight percent, and then just went sideways for like a week and a half, two weeks, and then boom, up straight up. The very, the very, the very next. And this, let's go look. What, what is this very first daily candle doing? April first. Watch out for April Fools' videos out there. People could be trying to say Bitcoin's going to zero and stuff just keep a mind keep an eye on rest of the day rest of the day watch out for april fool's videos and uh there it is right look at that look at that here's where we just closed march 31st above the previous all-time high not not this previous all-time high that's like a local but you know what i'm saying you know what i mean this one back here look at that so far this daily candle boom red straight down 
and we already measured that once on the monthly. It should be 3.6%. There it is. So this could come down a little further. Um, let's see. Is that six? I, I don't see it becoming. I don't see it coming below sixty-eight thousand. I don't. I honestly think it's not. It could. If it did, where was it? Where was it? Sixty-three, six hundred. Oh, that, that does line up actually. There, there, there is a support back to the left on the daily chart. It's sixty-three thousand six hundred. So it's something to keep an eye on. Now let me go. I, I think this is the trampoline. I think this range is the trampoline range right there. You know, watch maybe for the gradual down or something like that. You know, it could, but you know, this, this, I just like 68,000 kapow. There it is. Could be wrong. I'll make another video here about trading eventually, but uh, I'll, I'll be making two video, two types of videos from here on out. It'll be, it'll be the spot market where you just buy, right? I've been saying for a couple of years now to my viewers, what you wanna do is just buy on a spot market through here, right? Particularly when it was under 20,000. And just hold and hold. You you could you should still be buying now on the spot market, in my opinion. I think buying on the spot market right now at 70,000 is just a marvelous idea with the understanding that, you know, maybe it does come down to 61,000. That's not, it's not impossible, and uh, I don't think it's too likely. But you're just on a spot market. I would just keep dollar cost averaging, whatever you're doing. Just keep buying and buying, and just keep in mind, never ape into anything ever would be my advice. Leg into everything, and uh, I think now is just a, the green, just a green light for keep buying and buying and buying and buying. And this could be this could be the last best opportunity you have to buy for the foreseeable future because this this could be coming up here like i said you know let's do some speculating before i turn this video recorder off you know just based on stuff i've seen maybe something like this you know and then something like this and then boom a hundred thousand and and, and uh, i wouldn't be surprised if we just do it i wouldn't be surprised if we just go ahead and do it i'm calling 139,000, which would be up here There'll be multiple big corrections. So far, they're at about 18 to like 22%. On the way up, there'll be multiple ones. And uh, just in a nutshell, just say monthly, 20% corrections on the way up. There'll be huge long squeezes. And uh, I, I think this cycle top beat be about 139,000. Now, I've been kicking around what happens later into 2025, right? That there could be another one coming, you know, just, oh, it's over with. Kapow! Maybe it does take around at 200000 That's a lot of money. There'd be another $2.8 trillion is required to, to come into this market and stay in the market to get to 200000 from where we're at right now at seventy. And keep in mind, all your favorite YouTubers, all those people out there promoting Bitcoin to you, they are rapidly taking out as many U.S. dollars out of this market right <laughs> as they possibly can and they're buying mansions and cars and and putting it into other investments right they're not doing that with crypto right? they're selling their crypto for us dollars and they're spending their us dollars other places just keep that in mind no matter what they say now a lot of them do hodl but but they're buying that bitcoin with us dollars right or fiat from around different places in the world right so just keep that in mind I want to keep you tied into reality. All right, I'm out of here. Have a good night, day, morning, afternoon.